Hi guys, Dean here. This is so odd. I'm actually doing a voiceover for a video. Um, I usually am fairly shy when it comes to this kind of stuff, so I'm gonna be fairly uh, timid. And plus, I don't really have a mic or any sort of setup, so I'm just using my camera uh, speaker. So uh, if the sound or audio seems a bit off or not the best, it's because of that. I did order a mic, um, but I ordered a off uh, wish and god knows when that's gonna get here like probably two months from now so my next video maybe will be good hopefully but there is actually a reason why i'm doing a voiceover for a speed painting well a digital speed painting and that's because the guys over at uji were kind enough to send me one of their products the the hk 1560 to not even, not even review, just to kind of give my honest opinion on. So it's not going to be biased or anything like that where I'm like, oh, they're the best company ever. No, none of that. Like, this entire video is pretty much going to be me complaining about it, but not in a bad way. Just nitpicking about small things because the actual product itself is amazing. That's why I'm doing a speed painting in the background, just to show you that what it's actually capable of. Instead of going, oh yeah, this is pretty much pen pressure or this much, whatever, you know, all those kind of stats that just kind of go over your head that anyone anyway, doesn't know anything about. Those kind of things, just like it's might as well be white noise. This is going to be my review of the Ugi HK 1560. Now, it's a sleek 15.6, I want to say, or 15 and a half inch uh, display graphics tablet. I've never used a display graphics tablet before, so this is kind of a new experience for me. So I'm still new and trying to get all of our all the little. Cause I'm, I used to I'm used to traditional stuff, so it's pretty weird going from traditional. There's plenty of videos on YouTube that talk about the statistics of the actual device itself and unboxings and just things like that. I personally would actually like to watch a speed painting video just to see what it's actually capable of. And then kind of just a few little few little things here and there telling you about like what's what's pretty much important or well random little things about it, which is what I'm gonna do. It's probably not the most professional thing ever. I know there's ones out there that actually talk about like everything and just every minute little thing about it, but uh yeah no. I'm I guess I'll just start at the start. When I the box when I ordered it it came within probably five days of ordering it, which is amazing. And it came from China as well, so like usually when you order something from China, it just doesn't show up till like three years later when you completely forgot about it. But that just showed that showed up uh, fairly quickly. Um, then when it actually showed up, it was in a brown box, big brown box. I opened it up. There was another brown box inside it. I was like, okay, double packed, grand. Took that out, opened that, and then the tablet was inside it. And I actually thought I missed a step because there was no packaging, there was just two brown boxes and it was there was no branding, there was no logos, there was, there was nothing on the box besides I'm like someone UK on the on the outside of the box um, even though I'm from Ireland so you know well, whatever, you know close enough I assume it was just for, for the, the plugs, we use the same plugs one of the main things and I advise you to do this is take breaks regularly because you're going to be so because you're going to be staring at the screen so intently that after a certain amount of time, maybe a half an hour or an hour, you're going to start getting headaches. Not all, not every single time. It's just just take breaks. It's the same writing. Don't don't stare at screens for so long. If you're looking at your phone for too long, well then you'll get a headache. Well, I do it anyway. Before I got the graphics tablet, I did a bit of research into other people's reviews and. What they, what the biggest kind of complaints, or what they, what they didn't and didn't like, or what they didn't and did like about it. So one of the main things I've noticed, uh, the main trend would be the fact that it doesn't have any hotkeys. On the side of it, um, on the right side of it, of the actual tablet itself, it has the control keys where you can change the settings, the brightness, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's like why couldn't you just put have an extra set of keys over here? Now I'm a designer, but it's like an inch space there that would have been perfect for um, for any sort of like buttons, hotkeys and eBay or Amazon you can actually buy a 
keypad, keypad with hotkeys on it. I think it's like 24 keys. And I might actually invest in that. I think it's like 74 uh, euro or something like that. It could be, you know, whatever. But that seems like something that would be pretty handy. I know I should say, like, oh, I should be built into it, but you know, they didn't build in it. I haven't got, I haven't seen what the the bigger brands, the bigger um, UG products are like. Maybe they do have the hotkeys on them, and it's just the smaller ones that don't have the hotkeys. You get two pens. Yeah, you also get two wires to charge them. Um, you get the pen holder. This is it here. Um, you get the pen holder with loads of extra nibs. You get a a two finger kind of glove thing, which is, by the way, is amazing. <laughs> I've actually left the house with wearing this. That's how comfortable this is. I'm wearing it right now. Um, you get the driver. Well, you get the disc with the driver on it, and then the driver is just it. By the way, just don't use the driver on the disc because it's like probably months, years out of date at this point. Best thing to do is probably go onto the website and download the latest version of the driver from there because that's what I did and um, you also get a little thank you card um, I don't want this video to drag on too long so I'm just going to give you my final thoughts verdict of the actual product itself the price range to how easy and as accessible it is to just pick up the fact that you can just plug it in and it works even though I had a little bit of a problem with the driver but that's that, that was fixed easily and that was actually more my fault than anything else the price range is, is stupidly amazing like for a 15 inch display graphics tablet it's like you can get for nothing I think it's like 300 euro that's like yeah, that was I think I was gonna say actually, but like still, that was still amazing. I think the maximum I've seen was like 400. That's nothing for this. So if you ever wanted to get into actually getting into graphic design or getting into just digital painting, this is your this is the next step. Getting this because let's face it, like paying 2,000 euro for like a Wacom Centig is it's just too much. It's beyond much, too much. I don't that we don't have that kind of money to spend on a product like that. I wish I did, but I don't. So if you ever wanted to get into digital painting and you don't know what to do, you've only got like a trackpad. This is your next step. This is where you need to get one of these. I'm gonna put some links in the description of their uh, website and the shop, and you can just go check them out. Save the because it's I'm making this during like Christmas time. You could probably get it for cheap, like Christmas sales or something like that. Which is already cheap, so you can get even cheaper than it already is. So that's it. Might as well be free at this point. If you're still in the ropes, just look at the screen. Just look at what what I'm currently painting, and then judge for yourself whether you think this is a good product or not.